What's up, everybody? Rod J back again and take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Well, tonight I actually found one that I had been looking for for a while. I had to go over to Indiana to pick it up, but it is from Smaltz Brewing out of New York, and it is a Star Trek Klingon Imperial Porter. So I saw this one online a few times. I saw some people had actually been able to get this. We are not getting into Kentucky and Ohio. Happened to make a nice little beer run to the third state in my area, which is only about 20 minutes from me and was able to actually find this on the shelf. I was actually looking for another beer, but came across this one, so it ended up working out. This one comes in at 7.3% ABV. And for me, I think it's kind of the nostalgic of it. Growing up, I was always a big Star Trek fan. Never really liked Star Wars as much. Uh, but Star Trek, I was definitely into a little bit more. So when they said they were launching this, I'm not going to lie. Just seeing the label alone got me to take a look at buying this one. Um, but I'm hoping it actually turns out well. And I really haven't had a bad beer from Small Brew from all the ones I've tried. So let's go ahead and get it into a glass and check it out. I think it's going to be... Uh, Hopefully a nice one here. Now they do mention on here, the malts are especially two row Vienna, Melanoid and Crystal Hall, Honey Pale Chocolate, and the hops are Columbus and Vanguard. Outside of that stuff, not really too much more really on the label. I feel like I should be having Star Trek music playing in the background here like when they have the fight scenes or something. But into the glass it goes. It's got a nice dark brownish color. I do have a little bit of clarity to see into it. Um, it's not fully dark by any means. It's got a nice dark brownness to it. If I get it back here, I think you can pick that up with a little bit of the tint that's in play. Kind of like a mahogany type wood. And uh, I get it to the light, still not really getting through it at all, but it's got a nice, brownish color as I mentioned. The head is actually kind of a tannish head. It's dissipating pretty quickly as far as the aroma. It's got a nice roastiness to it. Definitely get that malt sweetness. Comes out of the glass rather easily. Not having to sniff too hard. I did sit this one out for about uh, 15 minutes or so before opening it. Let's get that there. So you can see right there. It's Star Trek and a little Klingon ship. Pick up a faint bit of um, some of the hops on the back end. Now it does have 60 IBU on here so you are gonna have maybe a light little uh, a bite there with the bitter, so we'll see how that actually comes out in the taste. Nice sweetness to it, nice roastiness. It's kind of like a little bit of a, a nice chocolate scent coming out as well, as far as the taste. Wow, that is actually a pretty decent taste in porter. I'm getting on the, the uh, tongue, I'm getting the chocolate, I'm getting that roastiness that I was also getting from uh, the aroma, getting a nice nuttiness and flavor. That first sip already kind of jumped off the tongue and I can already feel it like up in the cheek area. It's giving a nice little mouth presence already. I do feel a little bit of a warming sensation, uh, probably from the alcohol here. Not really tasting any booziness though, but the mouth has a nice tingling effect that's taking place. A nice creamy texture. I do get some slight little bit of a soft type bitterness on the finish, but it goes down the mouth very easily. It's kind of got like a nice velvety feel there. Carbonation sits very nicely, not over carbonated by any means. Man, it is just coating the mouth, mostly the cheeks more than anywhere else is where I'm feeling a lot of that sensation. It's almost causing like a chewiness effect. It's not as thin as a lot of the other pores are. Some of the other ones I pick up that thinness with it, which you kind of expect, but this one is an Imperial Porter, but even though some of the Imperials I've had from other companies, they come up a little bit thin. This one has a nice sturdy profile to it that is not as thin as some of the other ones. Not fully, obviously, to a stout level, but it's definitely holding well. But that creaminess or maybe that kind of syrupy type texture is very nice. It just pretty much lays it right in the tongue. So it goes down without any issue. Now if I, after that finish, after a few sips, halfway into the glass now, I'm picking up more of those chocolate flavors kicking around the mouth. Got a great duration of flavor thus far. Another good one that could be a nice little cigar beer. You could actually work this one with some different cheeses, I believe too but it's got a nice total package behind it all. This one is sitting as a full body. Is it one that would have maybe on a hot summer day? 
maybe not on the hottest of days, but going into the evening, it's a nice one. Like tonight, inside, the air is actually on, so it's like in the mid 60s. It sits very well. I would not want to have this probably up and up in the 80s and up to the 90 type temperatures. But at nighttime beer, very nice, very uh, very drinkable. So again, this is the uh, the Star Trek Klingon Imperial Porter. If you've had it out there before, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section, but definitely one that I would say worth a try. That all being said, I appreciate you swinging by to check out another video. I'm gonna go ahead and finish drinking this one, and hopefully I will catch you on the next one. Cheers, and keep drinking good craft beers. Engage.